Hi, I'm John, and behind the camera is my beautiful girlfriend, Annie, and this is our self-converted school bus. It's a 2003 Thomas bus. Originally, it was a 93 passenger bus, so big as you can go in terms of school buses. Um, it has a Caterpillar 3126 engine with, uh, it's a diesel front engine with 57,000 miles. This is our front section, our living area, and also our guest bedroom. Um, this couch and that couch both open up and has storage underneath. This one has a piece of plywood that fits in between this space, runs the length of this space, and then these two cushions can fit in the middle and it makes our guest bed uh, slash hangout area. Um, then if you move this way toward the kitchen, this over here is our three burner stove top. Um, and oven combo, this is propane, just runs off of a normal um, propane tank that you use for like cooking with a grill, outdoor grill or anything like that. This over here, you got storage under here. This is just your basic sink undercarriage. Um, and then you have food storage up here. And then I'll show you our little cabinet over here. This. We put all our spices and rice and different thing in the sliding cabinet. There's room for more storage underneath this cabinet over here. And then your forks and knives and all that go in right here. We have childproof locks. So if you're driving, you can shut this. You can't open it, but you can use this little magnet if you need something while you're driving. And you put that right there. And then it'll unlock it. Um, this is a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer combo. So this side's the fridge, and then this side's the freezer. Um, yeah, so if you want to continue, then there's open space storage here. We would just set this up whenever we got to like our parking spot for the night. Um, you can continue back through the hallway. We have a big shower slash bathroom area. Um, this is like a vintage tile shower. That's a Nebbia by Moen. It's a popular shower head for RVs and schoolies and different stuff like that because it sprays a super fine little droplets. It gives you really good coverage on your body, but it uses like 57% of the amount of water in a normal shower. So you save a lot of water that way. Um, and then this is our airhead composting toilet. This thing was awesome. No smell at all. Um, and then over here, we have our hot water heater. It's an instant hot water heater. Uh, it runs on propane and yeah, you have a little bit of space for your toiletry storage and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and if you want to continue back down the hallway, we have his and hers closets. My girlfriend, hers is of course a tiny bit bigger than mine, but you got more than enough room for your clothes as long as you don't have an insane amount of clothes. But, uh, and then after that, you have the bedroom area. There's a good amount of space back here. Um, you have your mini split. This is a 12,000 BTU mini split. So this is pretty strong. It runs off of the solar in the day when there's full sun and no clouds. Um, but then at nighttime, you don't want to drain your battery too low. Uh, you would run it off the generator. And we, this bus comes with the generator. It's a 3,500 watt generator. It'll run throughout the night and more than that, about 12 hours. Um, so if you're off the grid, you can have air conditioning all night. Um, and then underneath this bed is our 100 gallon water tank. And then you have a good amount of space for storage. Um, yeah, and the water pump and all that's under there. Um, and then in the very back of our bus, where the emergency, there's storage also on the side of the bed here that she's showing you. Um, in the very back of the bus is our solar setup. That's where our solar charge controller is and our 48 volt, um, 800 amp hour battery bank. That's all in the back. Um, we have eight solar panels on the roof. Each solar panel is 285 Watts. It's all like stuff that you would put on a house. Um, even they're not RV solar panels. It's all house stuff. Even the way we wired this bus, everything's wired like a house would be wired with a normal breaker box. Um, and then just the lights are LED lights, puck lights. Um, this bus also comes with, oh, actually uh, one thing 
the bus, it can be plugged into a normal house outlet. So if you're staying over a friend's or something like that, we have an inverter charger. So not only will you charge up your battery by plugging it in um, to like a normal house outlet and run an extension cord, um, you can run all your stuff. You can run the air conditioner or whatever else you have in the bus. Um, and then it comes with a tow setup also in the back. We flat towed our truck behind the bus. So you got the tow bar and the electrical hookup for that. Um, that comes with this. So you, if you're planning on towing a tow vehicle, that all comes with the bus. Um, and then, what'd you say? The protector. Oh yeah. So these hooks right here, we hung a sheet across here. And then every night we would watch uh, stuff on our projector, which was awesome. You just project it right to here. Um, yeah, so. And I think that's it pretty much for the most.